lovelies, it's Miss Lady Lace here on my Pen of Glamour channel and Pen of Glamour podcast and today I have a very special video because one of my burlesque classes that I have usually just available on Patreon is going to be available free for everyone so I'm so excited to share that. If you're a long time glamorous friend, welcome back and if you're new here I share tips and tutorials to do with pen up burlesque, the vintage lifestyle and so much more. So if you love these things be sure to subscribe as I share new content all the time. Today we have a free burlesque class so I'm going to be demonstrating a glove tease for our burlesque class. I'm going to go through a warm up that you'll just need to follow along with, we'll go through some technique and get into a fabulous routine. With any of my fitness or dance related videos be sure to take care of yourself. If you have any injuries, be sure to be careful with them as you're dancing. And if anything doesn't feel right, ease off what you're doing to prevent injury. For my online burlesque classes, I have them on Patreon with my Glamour community. It's tier number four and you receive a class every second week and we do lots of different subjects, lots of different themes. We do specialty technique classes, specialty routine classes and combinations of these. If you're interested in learning more about burlesque, I'll have a link in the description below, but we'll get started with our warm up. Starting with our warm up, we're going to have both our feet nice and close together. We're going to pop both hands onto our hips and we're going to come up to releve, changing between our feet. And we're going to do that for eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, lovely. We're going to come up onto both feet now and on the eighth one we're going to take a balance. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and on that last one coming up balance eight. We're really activating our leg muscles, activating our bottom, activating our abs helping us support ourselves up in this position, strengthening our ankles. When we're ready, we're going to come down. We're going to pop one leg in front of the other and we're going to circle our hip anti-clockwise for eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lovely. Next, we're going to do a body roll. So we're going to pull our chest up, contract our body, then release. We have for four, one, two, three, four, lovely, changing sides, circling around for eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to body rolls, one, two, three, Four, lovely. We'll roll our shoulders back next, alternating right to left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rolling forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going to second position with our feet nice and wide apart. Both hands up. We're going to do a spinal twist for eight. We have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. We'll warm up our arms and also our hands. So let's just start with some circles coming back. We have one, two, three, four, rolling forward, five, six, seven, eight. From here, we're going to do some figure of eights with our hands. So we're really warming up those hands as we're going to be using them lots for our routine today. Clasping them together next, we're going to draw a figure of eight with our hands together, really getting into those fine joints, really allowing those hands to warm up. If there are any other warm-ups you'd like to do at this point, feel free to pause the video and warm up a bit more or get some stretching done. And if you're ready, we're going to get into today's class. For today's class, you'll need some gloves. I recommend a long opera length glove. And if you feel comfortable, also dancing in some heels. We'll start by going through some of our technique and I'm going to start by breaking down our basic burlesque position. If you want this broken 
down really thoroughly, I have recently posted up a classic pinup pose video, and this is that same exact pose. We use this for pinup, burlesque, and many other styles of dance as well. We're going to start with our feet together, and we're going to open them up to a light first position. So we don't want a full ballet turnout, just a very light turnout within our feet. We're going to bend one leg forward and hug that into our opposite. Our bottom leg has become our supporting leg, so we want that flat on the floor. And the leg that comes in is going to be pointed either on demi, which is on the toe, or pointed up onto the toe. And we're really hugging that knee into the opposite knee. As we do this, we can either have a more open or a more closed position. We can play around with different positions, but we want to make sure we're very well supported. If you feel like you're losing a bit of balance, Go back onto those toes so you're able to support yourself and be comfortable in this position as we're going to be utilizing this as we dance today. From here we want to make sure we're engaging beautiful posture, hands are coming onto our hips, relaxing those shoulders down and making sure our elbows aren't going too far forward or too far back. So we're in a beautiful classic position and we're just going to practice that moving from either side. Maybe even do a bit of a walk and then hit that position. Do a bit of a spin and then hit that position. We're always going back to that classic position as it is that beautiful elegant look on stage. From here we're going to learn our burlesque bounce. So this is simply going up and down bending through our knees. We're making sure we're bending those knees evenly so we're not just straightening one and keeping the other bending. So we want to go evenly through them and as we come up I like to pop my bottom out a little bit so I'm emphasizing that shape. I'm really straightening that front leg to get that line so we're going down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. We'll change that to the opposite side and practice in this direction. Down and up, down and up, down and up, one more down and up. Our final piece of burlesque technique before we get into our glove technique is our body trace, which is something we're going to be utilizing a lot today. As we're taking off gloves, we're going to be tracing our hands a lot. So we're going to be utilizing that trace heavily for our routine. With a body trace, it really depends on the type of routine you're doing. Today, we are very classic and we're oozing that sensuality. So we want that to be really smooth and gorgeous. But you could be doing a comedy routine and do something completely different. For that classic sensual trace, what we want to be utilizing is tracing more with our fingers or when we're tracing with the palm of our hand, we want that to be really soft and gentle. What we want to avoid looking like is we're just putting sunscreen on stage. Unless that's the intention when we're being classic, we want this to be light and feathery touch. We want to make it look like we are made of satin. So we'll start with just a hand out. We're going to trace up our arm and back down to the hand. I'm bending that back in. Now I'm going to twist the hand around. I'm going to trace it down and up. We'll go to the opposite side. So we're going to trace from the hand to the elbow, elbow to hand, twist, trace, down and up. You'll notice as I'm doing this, I'm starting to use that burlesque bounce as I'm doing those motions, just to make this look a little bit more fluid and exciting. If you feel like that bounce is far too difficult for you, just concentrate on that trace for now. Feel free to have a bit of a play with your body, so trace other parts of your body and see what works with this. We could go all the way down a leg and back up. We can trace our chest and around. We can trace just one hand over, one hand across. Beautiful. When it comes to moving our hands, we want to imagine that the room is filled with honey and it's a little bit more difficult to move that hand through. If we were to just trace across, it wouldn't be as exciting. While if we let that ooze across and come down, it's a lot more sensual and exciting to see on stage. For our routine today, we have a glove tee. So you're going to need to pop on a pair of gloves. These can realistically be any length, but the longer the better for this routine, preferably an opera length would be fabulous. 
If you're creating your own burlesque routine, you want to cater your glove to your performance. If I'm wearing an elegant evening gown and I'm doing a classic strip and strut, I prefer an opera length as this gives me a very glamorous look and also gives me more glove to work with. If you're doing a comedy routine as a gardener, you'd likely wear a shorter pair of gardening gloves. I'd recommend catering this to suit what you're doing. So now we're going to work on some glove technique. Typically for a performance, a glove would be one of our earlier items that we take off. For structuring a performance, quite often we come out, we introduce ourselves, we start to tease, we remove the glove, we have the reveal, and then the disposal of that prop before moving on to our next item. There are limitless ways you can tease and remove an item, but we're going to just focus on a couple key factors for today. With our last burlesque technique move we were just working on, that was our trace. And this is the easiest way for us to let our audience know that this item is about to come off. So we can simply trace that hand up, we can trace across, we can have a little bit of a play with that. We can pull the glove down a little bit and tell the audience no, and we can ask for some applause before we actually get to take that item off. We can tug at the fingers and pull away and trace to really get everyone excited for what's coming next in the routine. Next, we're gonna learn method one of removal. So we're gonna pop a thumb beneath that glove and we're simply gonna be able to grab enough. We're gonna step through to the opposite foot and then pull that off in one fell swoop. Now, this isn't a method I do in too many routines and we're not doing it today as now your glove is inside out and if you're rehearsing, you need to constantly be putting it in the opposite direction. I have a trick to get this back inside out the easiest way possible. We're going to start by popping our hand in the glove and trying to get our fingers a little bit into the nubs of the fingers. We're going to pull that out and then from here we're just going to tap, tap, tap and all the fingers should come out evenly from that glove ready to pop back on again. It's much quicker than fiddling there for ages and trying to pull them out. So we'll pop that glove back on and we'll try that method again. So we're going to pop one foot in front of the other. We'll start with a little bit of a tease. So we're going to give that hand a little bit of a trace, letting the audience know. We're going to grab the top. We'll give a little bit of a pull, making sure we've got enough grip in that glove. We're going to come across. We're going to step right, left, and then pull and we'll swing and throw. Beautiful. Method two will work with our right glove. And we want it before we start our routine, just make sure we've got a little bit of give at the end of each finger. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the finger and pull. Grab, pull, grab, pull, grab, pull. Leading up that excitement, that tease, and then we're gonna grab the glove and pull that off. As we do the pull, so, so we're gonna grab the finger and pull. Grab the next finger, pull. Grab the next finger, pull. And the last one, pull. From here, we're gonna take off the glove. If we keep this arm bent though with an opera length glove, it is not gonna come off because it is stuck in this corner here. So what we wanna do is we're gonna bounce down and extend that arm, then we're gonna come out and remove that. As we trace through, we're gonna catch that with the opposite hand, so the hand that's just come out, and then we're gonna have a little roll, a little play. We could trace this down our body. We could use this as a prop. We could place this across our chest, walk around the room, and then shimmy that off. We'll try that one more time, making sure you've got enough grip at the ends of those fingers. We're gonna start by tracing around. I'm gonna to prep to grab those fingers. We're gonna bounce down and pull. Down, pull, down, pull, down, pull. We're gonna extend and pull, tracing down and up to our chest. Walk forward. And we're going to shimmy that off. Amazing! As I mentioned, there are no limitations to what you can do with your gloves, but these are just a few of the classic styles that we see a lot in burlesque. And we're now going to get into today's routine. So I'm going to pop on today's music so you can have a bit of a listen and gauge the tempo. If you're new to dance, we work in eight count breakdowns. So we will have moves that sync up to eight counts. So it could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The amount of counts will dictate how quick or smooth that movement is. Our song today is Perhaps, Perhaps, Perhaps 
by Doris Day. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. We'll pop on our gloves and we're going to get started. The tempo today isn't too quick, so it should be easy enough, hopefully, for everyone to follow along with. But do try your best, and no matter what, as long as you have a bit of fun, you are doing extremely well. We're going to start with our right leg in front of left, both hands on our hips, making sure we've got that beautiful posture. We're standing nice and upright. We're going to start with our right hand, and it's going to trace up our chest and then out to the side. As we do this, we're going to use our burlesque bounce. So we're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're just repeating that with the opposite hand. Nice and simple. We'll try that again. Tracing up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, both hands are going to float up to the side. So we're going to come up one, two, in three, four. And then we're going to bend forward and trace our hand forward five, six, in seven, eight. Breaking that down, bounce down, coming in. From here, we're gonna bend forward at our hips, so we have a bit of a hitch going on from the hip joint, and we're gonna take our right hand in front, left hand on top, trace forward, five, six, seven, eight. So from the hands up, we have one, two, down, three, four, trace five, six, seven, eight. Finishing with those hands brought in, elbows a little bit more forward. We'll try that from the beginning. We trace up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Trace up. One, two, three, four. Tracing forward. Five, six, seven, eight. Amazing. We'll try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So from here, we're going to twist our hand and we're going to trace from hand to elbow, body down. From elbow to hand, come up and prep down. I'm grabbing that finger as we're ready to pull that through. Beautiful. From here, we're going to pull five down six, pull seven down eight, and we're prepping to pull. We're going to pull that glove off one, two, three, Four, catching that with the right hand, we're going to roll that forward right, left, right, left. And as I do that, I'm leaning a little bit forward too. Now the hard part with a Bellis class when we've got the costume is it does take a bit of time popping that on and off. So we'll try and allocate a bit of time to get your costume back on. But if you need to, feel free to just pause that video so you can catch up with getting your costume back on. Going from that trace again, so we go down one, two, three, prep. Four, pull five down six, pull seven down eight. Pulling one, two, three, four, going forward, right, left, right, left. Beautiful, we'll try that again. Going from that trace again, so we go down one, two, three, prep, four, pull five down six, pull seven down eight. Pulling one, two, three, four, going forward, right, left, right, left. One more time. Going from that trace again, so we go down one, two, three, prep, four, pull five down six, pull seven down eight. Pulling one, two, three, four, going forward, right, left, right, left. We'll try that from the beginning now. I'll count us in five, six, seven, eight to start, just as I'll do with the music. We have five, six, seven, eight. Trace one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands up, one, two, three, four, forward, five, six, seven, eight. Tracing one, two, three, prep four, pulling five, six, seven, down, eight. Pulling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go again. Five, six, seven, eight. Tracing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tracing one, two, three, prepping four, pulling five, six, seven, down, eight. Pulling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again. Five, six, seven, eight. Trace one. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands up, one, two, three, four, forward, five, six, seven, eight. Tracing, one, two, three, prep, four, pulling, five, six, seven, down, eight. Pulling, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time, five, six, seven, eight. Tracing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tracing, one, two, three, prepping, four, pulling, five, six, seven, down, eight. Pulling, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll try that now with the music. Five, six, seven, eight, trace one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, trace one, two, three, prep four, pull five, six, seven, eight, down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I passed you, and again. Five, six, seven, eight, trace one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, up one, two, three, four, forward, five, six, seven, eight, trace one, two, three, prep four, pull five, six, pull seven, down eight, pull one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I passed you, and then, and again. Five, six, seven, eight, trace one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, up one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, trace one, two, three, prep four, pull five, six, seven, eight, down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I pass you. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight, trace one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, up one, two, three, four, forward, five, six, seven, eight, trace one, two, three, prep four, pull five, six, pull seven, down eight, pull one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really good work so far, so you may have noticed how the musicality is starting to come in. So as we're pulling, it's on the perhaps, perhaps, pull off really fun there. This bit as we're rolling forwards a little bit quicker so the tempo is definitely affected by those counts. So hopefully we're keeping up nice and easily. Now if you do need to practice a little bit more feel free to skip back and practice that a few more times. If not we're going to go on to learn the next part of the routine. So we've just rolled forward right, left, right, left. From here we kind of come down into the bounce and we're going to pull a bit of tension because we're going to slingshot that off into the right direction. So we roll forward five, six, seven, eight. We come down one, two, slingshot three, four. After we've slingshot three, four, we're going to trace up five, six, hooking seven, eight. We're not going to pull it off this way, we're just going to tease a little bit in this section. We'll grab that glove again. We roll forward five, six, seven, eight, down one two, slingshot, three, four, trace, five, six, grab, seven, eight. From here, we're going to do a bit of teasing and you can just follow along with me or create something yourself, but we're just going to tug and move around a little bit. We're just creating the illusion that, oh, maybe we're going to pull it off in this direction. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to say no seven, eight. So we're building up that anticipation. So from the flick, we have three, four, five, six, hook, seven, eight, tease, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With this, my left hand goes to my hip and I'm just wagging my right finger side to side. From here, we're going to take a step onto our right foot and our left foot is going to come in front. With that step, we're going to trace up that arm, back up, grabbing all the fingers and down. Now before we were just grabbing an individual finger, this time we're going to grab all the fingers because we're going to try and pull it off in a bit of a bigger motion. We pull up five, six, seven, eight. From here we want to make sure we pull off a really nice even amount of that glove. So I want this to be quite floppy at the end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that between my thighs and I want to try and grab that as firmly as I can and I'm going to pull up to catch that like so. We're going to spin five, six, seven, throw eight 
And that's the end of the dance, but we're just gonna go through that a little bit more thoroughly now. So from those pulls, we've prepped down four, we pull five, six, seven, eight, making sure there's lots to grab there. From here, we're gonna go down one, and we wanna catch that in our thighs on the one. Our right hand will come to our hip, and we're gonna pull that glove out, trying to grip that in the thighs and grabbing it like so with our left hand. We're gonna come up and spin five, six, seven, and throw on the eight count, and we are done. Starting from the prep on the four, we pull up five, six, seven, eight, down one, two, pull three, four, spin five, six, seven, eight. The most important thing with our thighs is making sure we have enough glove off that we can catch that between our legs. Where I'm grabbing the glove is also very important with the thighs. So if I kind of go in the mid of the thighs, it might just pull through. So you either want to be closer down to your knees where you can get a grip between the bones or higher up where there's a little bit more flesh to grip in to pull up. We'll now go from our slingshot move. So we'll put that right leg back in front of left. Go down one, two, three, four, trace up five, six, prep and grab seven, eight. We pull one, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, eight. From here we step right, left and trace up the arm. So we have one, two, three, prep, four, pull five, six, seven, eight, down one, two, pull three, four, spin five, six, seven, eight. We'll go again. From our slingshot, we go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pulling one, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, eight, tracing one, two, three, prep, four, pull five, six, seven, eight, down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, from our slingshot, we go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pulling one, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, eight, tracing one, two, three, prep, four, pull, five, six, seven, eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now from the beginning, right leg in front, five, six, seven, eight, tracing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, forward, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, prep, four, pulling, five, six, seven, eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, slingshot, one, two, three, four, five, six, hooking, seven, eight, teasing, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, eight, change, trace, two, three, prep, four, pull, five, six, seven, eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again, right leg in front, five, six, seven, eight, tracing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, forward, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, prep, four, pulling, five, six, seven, eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, slingshot, one, two, three, four, five, six, hooking, seven, eight, teasing, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, eight, change, trace, two, three, prep, four, pull, five, six, seven, eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time, right leg in front, five, six, seven, eight, tracing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, forward, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, prep, four, pulling, five, six, seven, eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, slingshot, one, two, three, four, five, six, hooking, seven, eight, teasing, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, eight, change, trace, two, three, prep, four, pull, five, six, seven, eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll try that with the music. Five, six, 
seven, eight, trace one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, up one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, trace one, two, three, prep, four, pull, five, six, seven, down, eight, pull, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, trace five, six, hook, seven, eight, tease, one, two, three, four, Five, six, no, seven, eight, change, one, two, three, prep, four, pull, five, six, seven, eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again. Five, six, seven, eight, trace, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, up, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, trace, one, two, three, prep, four, pull, five, six, seven, down, eight, pull, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, trace, five, six, hook, seven, eight, tease, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, eight, change, one, two, three, prep, four, pull, five, six, seven, eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again. Five, six, seven, eight, trace, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, up, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, trace, one, two, three, prep, four, pull, five, six, seven, down, eight, pull, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, trace, five, six, hook, seven, eight, tease, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, eight, change, one, two, three, prep, four, pull, five, six, seven, eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, trace, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, up, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, trace, one, two, three, prep, four, pull, five, six, seven, down, eight, pull, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, trace, five, six, hook, seven, eight, tease, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven, eight, change, one, two, three, prep, four, pull, five, six, seven, eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Amazing work getting through today's class. You have all done so well to push through today's routine. Dancing with props can definitely be a little bit more difficult. So if you're able to even achieve some of those smaller steps, you have done phenomenally well. Don't forget, if you are interested, I do have many more classes available for you right now on Patreon. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a like and a comment as that really does help me out. And if you're listening from Spotify, you can follow and rate this podcast. If you'd like early access to these videos, as well as those burlesque classes, I have my Glamour community on Patreon. I'd like to thank all my patrons, but especially my VIP Glamour patrons and burlesque Glamour students. The support you give me truly helps me in creating more content. To follow my daily pinup adventures and for more burlesque inspiration, I post super regularly to Instagram and TikTok. Simply follow at Miss Lady Lace and be sure to drop me a message so I can follow you back too. To never miss out on my fabulous uploads, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and I will be seeing you in my next video. Stay glamorous!